What's up, peeps? Welcome to the channel. With the Marvels movie coming out later this year, I figured we'd take a look at the comic book origins of each of the heroes. Let's jump right into it and find out who are the Marvels. First up is Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel. Carol Danvers grew up to become an officer in the Air Force and then a security officer for NASA. As a security officer, she was assigned to investigate Marvell, the original Captain Marvel. When she happened to be rescued by Marvell, an explosion caused her DNA to meld with his, resulting in Carol getting powers similar to Marvell's. She took on the codename of Miss Marvel and became a hero. Down the road, she lost her powers and memories after the mutant rogue attacked her and took them. Dr. Charles Xavier was able to give her her memories back and she stayed on working with the X-Men. She later gained cosmic powers after the brood experimented on her. She took up a new codename of Binary and adventured through space. She eventually lost a portion of her powers and returned to Earth. She rejoined the Avengers under the new codename of Warbird. Later, Captain America told Carol she had earned the right to call herself Captain Marvel, and he urged her to think about it. Shortly after that, she did so, becoming Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel has superhuman strength, agility, durability, reflexes, and stamina. She can fly, by her concussive energy blast, and has a healing factor. She also has the power to absorb various forms of energy, which she can use to augment her powers. Next up is Monica Rambeau, which many believe will be going by the codename of Photon, although she has gone by quite a few herself. She was born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Monica, as an adult, became a police officer working for the New Orleans Harbor Patrol. She was approached by an old friend of the family for help. Professor Andre Leclerc had created an energy disruptor, which was going to be used as a weapon. He asked Monica to help him retrieve it. She ended up destroying the device with her bare hands and in the process of doing so, she was showered with extra dimensional energy, giving her powers. For the heroics she showed that day, the press dubbed her Captain Marvel. She resigned from the police force and traveled to New York seeking Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four, hoping he could teach her how to control her new powers. Unable to find Reed Richards, she found Ben Grimm, the Thing, who referred her to the Avengers who agreed to train her to use her powers. She eventually became a valued member of the Avengers and even led them for a time. When Marvell's son Genis wanted to use his father's name, she gracefully changed her code name to Photon. She later changed it again to Spectrum. No matter which name she's going by, she has the ability to turn into any type of energy. She can fly, become intangible, move at the speed of light, and fire blast of whatever type of energy she has chosen to become. Next up is Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. Kamala was born in Jersey City. Her family had moved from Pakistan to the United States before she was born. Kamala had always wanted to be one of the cool kids at school. So one evening, she snuck out to go to a party at the Jersey waterfront, hoping it would help her fit in. Things didn't work out and she was teased and ostracized at the party. A dejected Kamala was making her way home when Jersey City was covered in Terrigen mist. Kamala went into a cocoon and when she emerged, she realized she had powers. The exposure to the Terrigen mist had manifested her inhuman powers. Kamala had always idolized the Avengers, especially Carol Danvers' Captain Marvel. Kamala took on the codename of Miss Marvel in honor of her. Miss Marvel served as a hero solo before later joining the Avengers. After the second superhuman civil war, she resigned from the Avengers and became a founding member of the Champions. Miss Marvel is a polymorph and can extend and grow any part of her limbs. She can shrink to the size of a doll or grow to the size of a giant. We know that Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, and Miss Marvel are confirmed to be in the movie. I'm going to add one more candidate I believe could show up in this movie or the end credit scene. Dr. Adam Brashear, the Blue Marvel. Adam Brashear grew up in Chicago, Illinois. As an adult, he joined the Marine Corps. After returning from the Korean War, he became the project lead on a project attempting to harness antimatter. 
the reactor they were working with exploded, subjecting Adam and his partner Connor to mutagenic radiation. Connor was seemingly killed and Adam became a stable antimatter reactor, giving him immense superhuman abilities. Blue Marvel possesses vast levels of superhuman strength. He is virtually invulnerable. He can fly, has hypercosmic awareness, and his aging has been slowed. Well, that does it for the heroes. Are you hyped for the upcoming Marvel's movie? Which character are you most looking forward to seeing in the movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, as always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.